Diane in Denmark here. I have just been on the computer putting together my own personal playlist for the Fly Ladies Weekly Home Blessing Hour. Now, this is nothing uh, new to you. I, I have a playlist, a series on YouTube where I hold your hand and walk you through each stage of the Weekly Home Blessing Hour. And you can make your own playlist and put it into the order that you want. This is my personal one, but I decided to share it with you. Um, just for fun. You know I always have my little clean and carry ready to go and my personal weekly home blessing hour, uh, I, I don't do the seven tasks, I do five tasks um, and I'll tell you what they are and I need to read the computer to remember them because you know my memory is going but that's why I love Fly Lady System. I don't need to worry too much about things, it's all written down somewhere. Uh, I start off by uh, vacuuming that that's a good start for me it kind of warms me up and gets me going and i can see results really fast with vacuuming and then i go on to shining mirrors doors and windows and i've told you before i start off in the zone that we're working in and that way i don't forget to do the inside of the windows and then i move on to dusting and then i take out all the uh, recycling all the uh, rubbish and uh, the last thing that I do is mopping. Now, I, I do mopping last for two reasons. One, uh, I like to do it last because you can't kind of walk on the floor, you know, until it's dry. And that forces me to take a break and actually take a cup of coffee or a cup of tea at the end of it and put my feet up. So that's why I do mopping at the end. Remember, please, if you do anything, set your timer. I've got my little timer here. Uh, I have set my timer in all of these videos, so it takes about 50-55 uh, minutes. But remember at the end, set your timer again for another 10 minutes. Put your feet up, enjoy looking at what you've done, give yourself a big pat on the back, shake your pom-poms, mine are just over there, but you've seen my pom-poms, and just congratulate yourself on you know being consistent with these things and this is the way forward for you. So anyway, without further ado, here's my little cleaning caddy. I'm ready to get going. And as I say, if you don't like the order of uh, my personal playlist, feel free to use the elements and make them into your own playlist. And here's another little thing. Normally I use music when I'm doing my weekly home blessing hour. You know, I have my little, um, I've got my little headset in or my um, cordless headphones. I listen to music but sometimes I actually watch my own videos or listen to my own videos and that keeps me focused it keeps me focused on doing 10 minutes on each job and then moving forward to do 10 minutes on the next job that is key we are not cleaning the whole house here we're not doing detailed cleaning we're not doing the whole house we are just cleaning the main areas of the house anyway I've talked enough time to get on with weekly on blessing Hope you enjoy it. Happy cleaning and remember sit down and have a cup of tea or coffee when you're finished set that timer. Okay here come the videos. Happy weekly home blessing hour. Fly Lady Diane here. We have 10 minutes on the clock and we are off. Hello just to say hi. Um, first of all we're going to be vacuuming so I am making sure to take off my long necklace and I'll also take off my jacket. Now, you may not be vacuuming, you may be sweeping uh, or dust mopping. It doesn't have to be the same as I'm doing, just do what you can. We're just getting up uh, any of the, the dust and grit from the floor. So as you can see, I've got my little, uh, I call it my little red devil, my little red vacuum cleaner. And if I say the word, you know, if I'm hoovering, it's because... Um, in Scotland, we, we normally call vacuuming hoovering because that was the first make of vacuum was the hoover. So anyway, you're lucky today that I'm doing a voiceover of this video so you don't need to hear the hoover. Um, but when we are doing the weekly home blessing, we are vacuuming or sweeping for 10 minutes once a week and we are doing the main areas of the house. Now, my main areas of the house may not be the same as your main areas of the house, but don't worry, you, you don't have to do exactly the same things I do, just do something in your home. We're just working along together and please remember, you're not meant to be sitting watching the, these videos, 
you are meant to be doing something. We're meant to be working together. Okay, I'm just showing you how, how I do it and we're working along together as if I was right there in the room with you. So as you can see, my main um, area of the house for vacuuming, um, I always start with the hall because that's where most of the, you know, the dust and the dirt comes in the door. In Denmark, we take our shoes off. So you'll probably notice that I have, oh, there we go, I'm showing you now. Uh, we have baskets uh, and that's where we keep our shoes. And then when we come in, we change into indoor shoes. And you can see there, I've also got a little, um, it's a rubber tray actually so that if um, the shoes are wet or messy, they just sit there, and that's right, right beside the radiator. And that really keeps uh, the amount of, of dust and dirt down in the hall. So I start off in the hall, and you may also have noticed that when I vacuum, I pull out the cord as far as it can go, and that way it means that I'm not having to plug in in all different rooms. I just stretch as far as I can with the cord. So I'm looking at the timer and we've not even been vacuuming for two and a half minutes. So you can see how much you can get done in a short amount of time. There we are. Oh, I was just vacuuming our small guest bathroom. And now I am heading into the kitchen because I can stretch into the kitchen from there with the vacuum cord. And remember, with this Fly Lady Weekly Home Blessing, you can either do all of the, the seven tasks, you know, just run through this entire playlist. Um, you may prefer to do one task per day. And we've given you some suggestions for that. Um, we say that Friday is for doing the floors. Oh, and I'm just about to move the camera and take you into the kitchen because I'm going to be vacuuming in there. But you just keep going wherever you are vacuuming. Yeah, I was saying that on Friday, uh, Friday can be your day for doing the floors, and that is vacuuming, sweeping, dust mopping, whatever you want to do. There we go, and that's my little timer, so that I can hear it when it goes off, because the idea for using the timer, there we go, we can see we've got six minutes left. We've been vacuuming for four minutes, and I've managed to do the hall and the uh, small guest bathroom. The idea with using the timer is that it just gets us started, you know, because when I would be vacuuming, uh, you know, when, when the kids were small before I found Fly Lady, gosh, I, would, I wouldn't vacuum for ages. And then when I finally dragged out the, the vacuum, you know how it, how it is, then you want to vacuum the whole house, the whole three floors, you know, you're vacuuming the garage, you're vacuuming everything that you can get into. And then after that, you're just exhausted and you don't even know what's for dinner and where the kids are. And you know what? That, we don't have to live like that anymore. So all we're doing is we're focusing for 10 minutes vacuuming and we're not, we're not starting to, to declutter. We're, we're not moving things to other rooms. We're just vacuuming. Okay. And you can see that I'm in the kitchen. I've done all the floors in the kitchen. And I'm just pulling out, I have a drawer underneath the sink where we keep um, the trash, the rubbish, uh, some of the recycling and um, cleaning products. And I like to just give that a quick vacuum as well because, you know, little bits fall out of the bag. So there we go. And then I'm just coming around to do the side. So how are you doing? Are you doing well with your vacuuming? Keep going because we are over halfway. And I think I, because I've disappeared from the screen, I'll tell you what it is. I've actually gone into our dining room. We have a dining room leading off from the kitchen. So I am in vacuuming there. There we go. I'm coming back around again. And that's that done. And you can see we still have four minutes left on the timer. So just keep going, do what you can. And remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. You don't need to get into all the little... Oh, I'm just waving to you because I've now moved into the living room. You don't need to worry about getting into all the corners because what we're doing with this weekly home blessing is we were just doing 10 minutes on the main areas of the house and we will get into the corners and all the other rooms when we are moving there with our missions. 
because we change the zones in the house every week and you will get to clean in the corners in those rooms. But all we're doing once a week is we're just maintaining it, keeping it nice and cosy and clean for ourselves. That's the whole purpose of this weekly home blessing. So we're not doing like hours of vacuuming, we're just doing 10 minutes. And you can see I've already done the hall, the guest bedroom, uh, sorry, guest bathroom. I have also hoovered the kitchen. I've been um, into the dining room and now I'm in the living room. And you'll notice I am not doing the whole of the living room. I'm not going right into the corners. I'm just getting close to, you know, the bit around the coffee table where we've probably dropped some crisps or biscuits over the course of the weekend. There we go. And we are, we still have three minutes left. So there's plenty of time. Just keep going. And listen, if you have finished your vacuuming, you know, if you've got a small apartment, oh, there we go, I'm just checking. Yep, two minutes and 30 seconds. Feel free to sit down and take a break. You know, I've always got my water bottle with me and my little cleaning caddy that I carry around me, uh, carry around with me when I'm doing my weekly home blessing. So if you've finished, sit down, you know, take a break, give yourself a big pat on the shoulder. Now, I'm just doing the bit beside our garden room. We have a conservatory and that's where our lovebirds are. And there's always quite a few feathers that kind of um, seem to f float into the living room. So I'm just doing those. And I think that's basically it for me. There we go. And that's it. I am unplugging. And I'm going to put my little red devil away because that's it for me. And I'm probably just going to check the timer again. Yep. You've still got time. So I'm just going to put my hoover, my vacuum away. If you've finished, you know, go go ahead, put away your um, dustpan and brush or put away your, your, um, your, oh, I can't even remember what you call it. You know, one of those dust mopping things. I don't have one of those. I've just got the hoover and a brush and a dustpan. Right, so we are beginning to do the countdown. Now we've got one minute and you can see, there we go, cheers with water. I've got my Fly Lady water bottle there. I'm just taking a quick break. So keep going. The timer will tell us when to stop, so don't worry about that. And I've just got my little cleaning caddy ready. I'm getting ready for the next task. And I've just got a few seconds, so I am just tidying away a few things in our living room. Okay. So keep going, I'm still with you. And by my reckoning, there's probably less than 30 seconds on the clock. Yeah, you can see I'm just moving things away from the coffee table because I'm going to be dusting soon. Oh, and there goes a mug. Yeah, it needs to go back in the kitchen. Here we are, and we have seven, five, oh, four, three, two, one. We did it. There we go. Well done, and we are on to the next task. Fly Lady Diane here. Just giving you a little wave. We've got 10 minutes on the top on the timer. And there we go. Now, what we're going to be doing, we are going to be, oh, first of all, make sure that you've got your indoor shoes on. Um, if you're wearing a jacket, you may want to take that off. And I always need to take off my necklace. There we go, because I'm always getting it caught in the hoover or in the mop. So what we're going to be doing right now is we've set our timer for 10 minutes and we are going to be wiping down uh, windows, wiping down mirrors and wiping down, you can see there's the timer, yep. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be wiping down glass doors, mirrors, windows. Now as I've said to you before in my other videos, I stick to the zone. So you know you can go ahead and do your living room. Uh, right now when I'm making this video we are actually in zone two which is the kitchen. So I'm doing the windows and the glass door and the mirror in the kitchen. But if you are in zone four and working on your bedroom, feel free to go ahead and do the windows there. Now, just a few things. As always, 
we are not being perfectionist here. If you can't reach the top of the windows, it doesn't matter, just do what you can. I'm lucky that with most of my windows, I can get to them. Oh, I'm just showing you. Do you see how fast I managed to do that window? It's quite a big window that we have. And the next one, Alio, I'm just going to climb up onto the kitchen counter. Now, listen, please be careful at home. Don't, you know, don't do dangerous things. Uh, I've done this many times before, and we've got a really wide uh, wooden kitchen counter. Uh, and I'm just using, you know, a basic um, environmentally friendly Windex type of product. And all I'm doing is I've got, you know, one of those Fly Lady microfiber cloths and I'm just wiping as best as I can. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now, if you've seen any of my other videos, you'll know that my sink is right just where I'm, I'm uh, wiping the window. So I tend to get quite a few splashes from when I'm washing up. So this window takes a bit longer than the other one. And remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just do what you can. And you know what? You don't need to do windows. Just concentrate on the mirrors in your house. There we go. That one's done. Thumbs up. All we're doing is just doing a little bit once a week to keep things you know, looking spick and span and doesn't have to be perfect. And as you can see, I'm in the kitchen and I'm just spending my time in there where I've got a couple of um, hurricane lamps because we have a lot of candles in the house and they're made of glass. So I'm just giving those a quick wipe out too. Putting that back on the kitchen counter. And remember, you do not have to work in your kitchen. You can work anywhere you like. The idea with this video is that you and me are working together. Oh, and I'm just showing you how I fold my cloth because in, in the old days I would just use the whole cloth but I've now kind of learnt to section it so I fold it over and I use one side and then I use the other and that way I'm not using 10 different cloths when I'm doing the cleaning. There we are, I've just turned the camera around a bit and we have a glass door from the kitchen so that's getting a wipe down as well and it really doesn't have to take a lot of time because as I've always said, you know, before I started the Fly Lady system, I never did, I never cleaned a window. You know, it would be months, years before I did some of the windows. And now, you know, I just do a, a couple of windows in the zone that we're in and move on to the next one. And it really takes no time at all. Now, I'm just checking my timer here. and I can see we have been working for about um, six minutes. Oh, sorry, no, we've been working for less now, four minutes. And you, I'm slightly out of picture on this video, but what I'm doing is we actually have a little um, mirror on the side of the, the fridge. And now I'm just wiping down the glass surfaces in the kitchen because my oven door is made of glass and also my uh, I have an electronic hob and that is made of glass, so that's getting a quick wipe down too. Now your kitchen may look very different or you may be in the bedroom. Here we are, yeah, we've still got five minutes to go. Look at that, I've done all the windows and the door and the mirror in the kitchen. So I'm just gonna pick up the video and I'm taking, sorry, the camera. And remember, I don't want you sitting at home watching this video from the comfort of your bed. You and me are in this together, okay? We, we are working together. Now, I press something there with the light, so the light is going to be a bit funny, but you know what? This video does not have to be perfect. Your cleaning does not have to be perfect. Oh, I'm looking as if I'm kind of bathed in yellow light there. Uh, I've just moved into our hall, and I am doing the hall mirror, and we've also got a little window on the front door. So I'm doing that one. I'm just opening the door. Oh, no, you can't see anything. And I can promise you it's not because it's bright sunshine in Denmark today. We've actually got a few snowflakes. Anyway, that's that one done. And I'm just looking to see what else I can do because you know what we still have? Uh, if we can see that there. Yeah, we have four minutes left. You see, that is the power of the timer. When you set your timer, for 10 minutes, you might think, I'm not going to get any windows done in that time. I have done the windows in the kitchen and the door and the mirror 
and I've done the mirror in the hall and the little window in our door and now I am just doing oh I'm just going to move you somewhere else <laughs> oh no I tell you what I have actually run up the stairs because we have a main bathroom on the first floor and I'm just going to do some of the uh, I'm going to do the mirrors in our main bathroom so just keep on going where you are we've still got three over three minutes left on the clock if you have finished wiping down mirrors, doors, um, anything that's made of glass, then sit down, you know, give yourself a pat on the back, sit down, uh, grab a glass of water, you know, finish off your coffee. But the idea with this playlist is that you can either do the weekly home blessing in one go, just, you know, switch on the playlist and work through them, or if you want to take them and do them one by one, you can do that. And the day that we normally are, you know, shining doors, mirrors um, and windows is on a Saturday. Oh, that's me back down from our main bathroom. But you know what? You don't have to do it on a Saturday. You know, just pick the days out of a hat, you know, the, the, the chores out of a hat and pick one. Now, I am just moving you back into, I think, the kitchen. There we go. Now, keep going. We have two minutes left on the timer. Oh, there we go. I've managed to work out the video. I hope you're still with me. Do you see that? We still have two minutes left. We have done so much so, so far in this video. And I'm just putting things back into my little caddy. Oh, and there we are. Cheers with some water. I've got my Fly Lady water bottle. And remember, you don't need to do all the windows or all the doors. Just do what you can in the time that you have available. You may not even have 10 minutes to do this. So just do, you know, five minutes, six minutes, whatever you have time to do. Right, that's me. And I've actually got so much time left, I'm going to start clearing a few things off my kitchen counter. So you keep going. And for if you've managed to finish, then just sit down, take a break, do some deep breathing. And remember, we are just doing a little bit at a time. Oh, and I've decided now to start unloading the dishwasher because I don't want to go off and leave you. And I hope everybody out there is enjoying these videos and enjoying seeing how much you can get done in a short amount of time. And remember, when you're consistent with your weekly home blessing, it really doesn't even take an hour to do these tasks. Most, As you've seen, um, I, I can actually get most of the windows and doors done like in five minutes. So it really doesn't have to take a long time. Right, let's see. I'm thinking that we have about 30 seconds left. So keep going. If you finish, you may want to put away your supplies. You know, put your, uh, put your rags in the wash. I'm just cleaning up as much as I can in the kitchen because I'll be mo moving on to another task. Oh, and I think that is it. Oh, there goes. Yep, there goes the timer. Well done. We did another chore and moving on to the next one. Well done. Fly Lady Diane here. Hi there. Setting the timer and we are setting it for 10 minutes. And what we're going to be doing next is we are going to be dusting, feather dusting or dusting with you know, a piece of cloth, a duster, whatever you like. Remember, you don't need to do exactly the same thing as I'm doing and you don't need to have the same equipment as I have. Just use what you've got. All we're going to be doing is we're just focusing for 10 minutes. Oh, that's me with my little um, caddy of cleaning stuff. And as always, I take off, you know, if I've got a long necklace and I'm taking off my jacket as well. But, you know, we're, we're not doing anything that we're going to get really dirty. If you want to put on an apron, go ahead and do that. Um, and what I'm doing here is I start off, you know, when we're in the, doing the weekly home blessing, I start off in my living room. 
and all I'm doing, I've already cleared off the coffee table because I do that before I go to bed in the evening as part of my kind of two minute room, uh, room rescue or two minute clearing off a hot spot. And I, I like to use a wee bit of furniture polish on the coffee table um, just because it smells quite nice and makes it look nice and shiny. But use whatever you have, all right? You, you, you just do what you are doing in your house and just pretend that I'm working there with you. Okay, that's the point of these videos. I don't want you sitting watching these in your bed. Um, the idea is that you and me are working together and always when I'm cleaning, you know, I like to light a couple of candles because we're in Denmark and we love our hygge. Hygge is just making things cosy and enjoying things, uh, the small things in life. And I'm getting on with my dusting in the background. I've still got my little dust mitt and I'm just doing the piano. And you'll notice that I'm not picking everything up and dusting underneath and we're just doing a quick dust of all the flat surfaces, you know, and the legs of the furniture, if you've got time to do that. But we are not obsessing about it and you don't need to dust everything in the room. Oh, right, and I'm just going off to get my feather duster. And remember, use what you have. You, if you don't need a feather duster, you don't need a microfiber dusting mitt, just use what you have. It all works and it'll all make your, your house look sparkling shiny. There we are, I've got my feather duster because that makes it really fast to get down in the corners. And I don't know about you, but our spiders seem to like building little webs down in the corners where the electrical plugs are. And I hate putting my hands into a little spider's web. So I like my feather duster for that. And I'm just dusting off, you know, the bookshelves and that's where we keep all our games. And I'm just out of shot. I am dusting around where we have a wood burning fire. And I'm just going over to where the television is. And listen, this is not the time to start decluttering. We're, we're not decluttering DVDs or books. Um, all we're doing is just giving a quick dust and you don't need to dust the whole bookshelf. Just do the bits that you can reach. And I can see here on the timer, we have only been dusting for about three and a half minutes. There we go. The reason for, that we use the timer is because if we don't use the timer, First of all, we think it's going to take too long, so we don't start doing the project. Or if we don't use the timer, once we do start the project, we go on and on and on and we don't remember when to stop. See, I'm just checking there. There we go. We've still got five, over five minutes left. Two thumbs up. Right, and the next thing, I am just opening up the blinds in our living room so I can open the window and shake the feather duster outside. And also, I'm just going to take my feather duster and dust all the windowsills. And up there, yeah, because I've got the camera up there on top of a big chest of drawers. So there we go. You can quickly do all the windowsills and just give it a shake outside. A wee bit underneath the back of the sofa. There we go. And those are my headphones. So I'm just going to take a couple of seconds to put those away along with a book. And I don't know if you remember, I did some videos, the 31 baby steps, and one of them was about pampering. And I had, oh, see, there's my little basket. I've got a pamper basket that I keep beside my favourite armchair. And that way, once I've finished Weekly Home Blessing, I'll sit down for 15 minutes and, you know, I'll read a book, I'll read a magazine, I'll maybe listen to some music. Right, there we are. All, basically, all done and dusted in the living room. And remember, you don't need to dust your living room, just dust wherever you are. For the, for the Weekly Home Blessing, it's the main areas of the house. So for that, that for you could be the entrance, uh, the entryway, you know, the living room, the den, maybe you have a playroom, 
just the rooms that you use all the time. Right, and I'm just closing the window again. I've actually got it quite nice and bright here in Copenhagen today. Oh, back on with my necklace because I'm done with dusting. Putting on my jacket. How long have we got left? We have, oh, we've still got three, at over three and a half minutes. So keep going. And I am just going to pop next door because we have a dining room which is just on the other side of this camera. And I know that I can quickly dust off the dining room table. I will also, I'm dusting off the windowsills in the dining room. And also we've, we've got more bookcases in there and my husband's um, desk. So all of that. And you know, when you're consistent with your weekly home blessing, it only takes a couple of minutes. I mean, look at that. We've been going for 10 minutes. I've already done the whole of the living room. I'm doing the dining room. And I could also do um, out in the hall too. That's probably why I haven't come back. Oh, there I am. Hello. <laughs> there we go. And that's basically me done in the living room. If you are finished, remember, sit down in your favourite chair. Put your feet up for a couple of minutes. I'm just straightening up the cushions on the sofa. Because I've got a couple of minutes left. Just giving everything a quick plump up the cushions. Doesn't take long but just makes things look really nice and cosy and comfy so when the rest of the family come in. Oh and I'm just blowing out the candles. Remember not you do not leave any lighted candles when you go out of the room. Switching off the lights, saving electricity because I'm Scottish. There we go. Oh that's the other lights being switched off. Right and we still have Ooh, two minutes. Go you. Go me. So keep going. You might want to uh, go and dust the stairs. You know, if you've got stairs going up and down, there's my little fly lady doll. And I think I am going to go ahead and put everything away because I am done in the living room. There we go. I've got my little caddy and I'm putting things away. And remember, just keep going. When the timer goes off, you stop, okay? Because, and don't worry about getting right into the corners. That's why we have the zones in Fly Lady because every week we have missions which uh, will let us do a bit more detailed cleaning. The weekly home blessing is just a quick one hour clean to keep the your place nice and spick and span. And you can see we've still got a minute left and I've got my Fly Lady water bottle. So I'm just going to take a swig of water before we go into the next task. And remember, you can do these tasks, you know, you can go through the whole playlist, just follow along with me, or you can do uh, one task per day. Um, dusting, uh, we would say we were wiping dust and that would be on a Wednesday. But you know what, do it in, in wh whichever order you like, just pick one from the playlist and go from there. Right, and I think we are about to do a countdown. I'm very pleased with the living room. Yep. So I'm just catching my breath. Oh, there's another blanket I can fold. That's the one that goes on my favourite armchair. There we are, soon on the countdown. So if you're finished, go ahead, give yourself a big pat on the back. And if you've got the Fly Lady Plus app, you can go into your app and check off that you have done dusting. Right, all checked off. Countdown. Can you see that? Two, one. Yep, and we're done. Well done. Fly Lady Diane here. Hello, hello. Give me a little wave. We've got 10 minutes on the timer and we're going to be focusing for 10 minutes on what? Oh, first of all, make sure that you have your indoor shoes on. And I'm just removing my telephone so I don't drop that while I'm doing the next 10 minutes. And for 10 minutes, we're going to be taking all the trash, uh, the rubbish, the recycling and getting it out of the house. And I'm just stopping for a second to light some candles because um, if you haven't noticed it by now, I am in Denmark. There we go. Oh, we like our hygge and hygge is just making everyday things nice and cosy and fun and uh, remember if you've got 
animals or small kids, you don't want to light any real candles. Uh, you might want to use some LED ones, but I like to light, you know, just a couple of tea lights or a scented candle when I'm doing my weekly blessing, makes the place look and smell nice. So as I said, we're going to be working on getting all the trash out of the house and I am going upstairs first of all. And I don't know if you noticed there, I have in my little cleaning um, caddy, which I carry around with me on weekly home blessing day, uh, I have some rubbish bags in there, some trash bags, recycling bags. And I've gone upstairs in our house because that is where I am getting rid of the rubbish, uh, the little rubbish bin that we have in the bathroom. And if you don't see me coming down immediately, it's because I'm, when I take... Uh, the rubbish out of the little bag, um, rubbish bin in the bathroom. I just give it a quick um, swirl with some water and some cleaning liquid just to keep it smelling nice and fresh. And the next thing that I will be doing when I'm upstairs is going into each of the bedrooms. Um, and we have two, you know, we have a, a main bin that we keep rubbish in. And we also have one for recycling. In Denmark, we recycle uh, bottles, papers, um, and soon we're also going to be recycling plastic and metal. But anyway, that's what I'm doing upstairs. Uh, now, remember, your house may not have the same layout as my house. You may do your um, recycling or taking out your trash in a different way. It doesn't matter. All that I'm doing here with these videos is that we are working together and remember, you can either do the weekly home blessing in one fell swoop or you can do one task a day. So if you're taking out the trash today, uh, we would say that would be taking out the trash on Tuesday. But remember, oh, here I come back down. So I've got the stuff from the bathroom. Wash my hands. There we go. <laughs> so you just keep on going with your trash. Uh, your trash... You know, it may be in different areas of the house. You may get the kids to run off and do theirs. Normally our kids, they take out their own trash, but I thought today as I was making a little video, I would uh, do it for them because normally when I take out the trash, it takes me about four or five minutes, but I'm going really slow today just so that we use up the 10 minutes because we're just focusing for 10 minutes. And uh, as I said, you can do all of these weekly home blessing tasks on the one day. You can just follow along with the playlist. I've just put them, you know, in the order of uh, Monday to Sunday. But, you know, you know, switch it up or ask your kids to do one task while you do the other. Whatever you want to do, just do that. But set your timer and do something. That's the good thing about this video. I'm setting the timer. So you don't even have to worry about that. We're just working together. All right, just doing as much as we can in the time available. And anything, as you, I'm sure you've heard me say before, anything is better than nothing. I mean, just, just doing three or four minutes taking out the trash will really make such a difference. We just need to do it once a week and do it consistently. So if you are in your kids' rooms, just take a look. Are there any papers there that can go in the trash? Just grab those, uh, you know, or for recycling. And see what else you can find in there. There might also, um, you know, have, have a look in your bedroom. Check there. There might also be some newspapers for recycling. Just grab it and go. And also, when I remove one bag of rubbish, I like to put in a new rubbish bag, and that way, you know, it's already set. So how are you getting on? Do you need a glass of water? Do you need to take a little break? Otherwise, you can keep going. And remember here, we are just working for 10 minutes. And when this is finished, you can go into the next task or you can take a break. And yet I'm still upstairs. Actually, now think about it. What has happened to me? Where have I gone? 
Okay. So, oh, there I am. Yeah. <laughs> so that is the trash room upstairs plus the paper recycling that will all go in the paper recycling bin. So what now? Um, yeah, I'm going to take a look in the living room and in the dining room, but I don't think there's anything in there because I normally do a little two minute hotspot rescue in the living room um, before we go to bed. Nothing there. Ta da! Okay, so next thing will be the main rubbish. Oh, I'm just checking the timer here so we don't run out of time. I'm trying to go as slow as possible. You may have a huge house with 10 bedrooms and 15 children. Nope, still nothing in. I was just checking what was going on in the living room. Nothing in the small guest bathroom. So now. I'm taking out the um, trash, taking out the rubbish from the kitchen. And normally I do this task, taking out the trash and recycling. I normally do that on a Wednesday night. Why do I do that? That's because our, our, we have our rubbish collection on a Thursday morning. But you know, just make it fit in with your calendar or make it part of the weekly home blessing. It's entirely up to you. There we go. That's the kitchen trash. Right, and we still have two and a half minutes left on the clock. So, aha, what shall I do now? Think about where else might you have trash. And I am going down to our basement. And in the basement, that's where I have um, the laundry room, you know, where I do the laundry, where I've got my ironing board um, constantly set up, just so it takes a couple of minutes to do ironing when I'm putting away laundry in the morning. And you'll see in just a little second, the telephone rang. Oh, there we are. So I had to change the timer, but there we are. Uh, and downstairs in the laundry room, I found a bottle of um, detergent that can go out with plastics. And I also found uh, a lot of recycling. In Denmark, we recycle plastic bottles. You get money back for those. There's a deposit on them. So I'm just changing into my little shoes for going outside. It was snowing today. Grabbing all the trash. Make sure once you've got all the trash that you take it outside and get rid of it. Okay. If you have finished getting all your trash out of the house, go ahead, you know, sit down, give yourself a pat on the back. Um, you know, breathe deeply for a couple of seconds, close your eyes, uh, grab a glass of water, finish drinking your coffee. Because I'm guessing it's going to take less than 10 minutes for you. I've been trying to go really slow. Normally I would just, um, you know, go boom, boom, boom right through the house. Because when you've got your lace-up shoes on, you are ready to rumble. Here we are. Okay, I'm back in again putting on my indoor shoes and we have less than a minute so if you've got any trash recycling get out there get rid of it and, uh, and if you have the Fly Lady Plus app go into that and check off that you've done taking out the trash taking out the recycling and there we are. I always put my telephone close to the candles because that way I will remember to blow them out Okay, and we are coming up for 20 seconds and I'm just taking a swig of water from a Fly Lady water bottle. Just checking how long to go. There we are. So we are just about done. And there we go. Okay, timer's gone and we are on to the next thing. Bye. Fly Lady Diane here, there you go, a little wave to you. I've set the timer for 10 minutes and we are off and running. Now you'll see that I've got my indoor shoes on, just make sure that you are not in flip-flops or in bare feet because for the next 10 minutes we are going to focus and we're going to be mopping. There you go, that's my mop. And you can see I'm in my kitchen uh, and I'm not even using any kind of fancy um, Cleaning liquid, I am just using actually some dishwashing liquid, just putting a squirt of that in and filling up with hot water. And just like the other videos in this playlist, we are setting our timer for 10 minutes 
and we're focusing on the job at hand. And you're really going to see that um, how much you can get done in 10 minutes. You know, it doesn't have to be an all or nothing thing. You know, we are not mopping the whole house and it's not going to take the whole day. All we're doing here are the main areas of the house that we do once a week. Oh, and there you go. <laughs> Something I always have to remember and do is to take off, you know, if you've got any kind of long necklace on, take that off. And I'm taking off my jacket as well, just in case I get splashed with water. So I'm just moving that to the side to get ready. And we have, uh, we've only been going for like a minute and a half. And you'll see that I'm just doing a very quick mop. Uh, I've already swept the floors, I actually vacuumed them. And all we're doing with the mopping is we're just quickly mopping the main areas. So the main areas of the house for me, which may not be the same as the main areas of the house for you, my main areas are the kitchen, the entrance hall, uh, and the little guest, um, guest toilet that we have on the ground floor. Those are the main areas that I mop because that's um, mainly where you know, people are coming into the house. So there we go, I'm, and I'm already kind of halfway through mopping the kitchen. I'm just mopping right beside our back door at the moment. And remember with these videos, the idea is that we work together. Like I'm mopping my house, oh, just looking at the timer, you see, we've still got seven minutes and 40 seconds left, yep. And I am going to start mopping another area, so I'm moving. <laughs> if you're wondering what I'm up to, I'm moving the iPad, but don't worry about that. You just keep mopping where you are. And also, just while I think about it, you do not need to have the same mop as I do. You don't need to go out and buy a new mop. Just use what you've got. It's, it's the same, like I said, with the actual um, cleaning liquid that I'm using to mop the floor. I'm just using dishwashing liquid. Yep. So as you can see, I'm just moving out of the kitchen and finishing the kitchen. It only takes a few minutes to mop my kitchen floor. And we've actually got underfloor heating in the kitchen and in the hall, so actually it dries off really fast. But remember, if you're doing this at home, uh, just make sure that you haven't got any kids or pets um, in the way, or you know, make sure you close the door when you've mopped that room. We don't want any accidents. So there we go, I'm just closing the door there so that nobody walks in. And the next room that I'm going to mop is our little, oh, bye. <laughs> I'm just going into our little guest bathroom, which is on the ground floor. And that is just a tiny room, so that really doesn't take long to mop at all. See, voila, that's already done. And then the next area that I'm going to mop is the hall. And this is the main area that I need to mop. There's also another area which you can't see, but I don't want to go moving the camera the whole time. Uh, we have a um, conservatory, a garden room, that's where our lovebirds are. And that I've already um, vacuumed and I will be mopping that as well. But right now we are just concentrating for 10 minutes on the main areas. Remember that in Fly Lady, we just do the main areas once a week and then we will be moving around the rest of the house. Um, it's all set up in zones. So don't worry about all the different rooms in your house that, that you think that you need to mop. All we're doing is doing a little right now and you can see we still have five minutes left on the clock. And the funny thing about Fly Lady is that before I started Fly Lady, I wouldn't mop for weeks and weeks until, you know, that thing when the, the kitchen floor gets so sticky that it makes a noise when you walk on it. Um, and then, of course, if I did mop, I would, you know, be mopping the whole house and going completely overboard. But I've learned that if I just set the timer and let the timer tell me when to start and let the timer tell me when to stop, it's really good for me just to focus on that. Now you can see that we have, uh, I'm just checking my timer here because I'm, oh, and you can see there's always somebody comes in when you're mopping. <laughs> but don't worry, in, in Denmark we take off our shoes 
as soon as we come in the house, you can see I've got a little place um, in the hall where we put our dirty shoes, our outdoor shoes, and where then we put on our indoor shoes or our slippers. So anyway, basically I am finished mopping the hall and the kitchen and the little bathroom. And what I like to do, just because it was something that my granny did, uh, when I'm finished with the hot soapy water, I just open the front door and we've got like a front step. Um, we don't have a porch here, but we have a front step. And I just pour that water outside there and it keeps the thing place looking nice and clean. And that always makes me think of my granny when I'm finished. So, thank you of you, granny. Right, and that is basically it for mopping. And remember, if you get done before the 10 minutes is up, feel free to sit down, you know, pat yourself on the back. Here we are, I'm gonna show you how much time we have left. Do you see how fast that was? We've still got three minutes left on the clock. Now, if you want, you can sit down, um, you know, put your feet up for a couple of minutes, uh, just close your eyes, breathe deeply, go and check on the kids, um, check on the pets. I have just all got my little, oh, I'm just showing you here that I've got my um, water bottle that I keep in my little cleaning caddy, and that way I can just take a quick drink of water if I get finished before the 10 minutes. And that's basically it for me. So I hope you're getting on with your mopping. Remember, it doesn't have to be perf perfect. You don't have to get right into the corners. We will really get into the corners of things when we do our zone uh, missions. That's it for me. I'm just sitting down. I'm putting my necklace back on. Put my jacket back on. There we go. And I think now, there we are, I can even... I'm just about to take the mop and the bucket and put that away because we're finished with that for this week. And keep going. We've still got a couple of minutes left. And I'm, I'm hoping that you will see how much you can get done in 10 minutes. It doesn't have to be perfect. And, and don't worry, if you have a, a huge house and you don't think the 10 minutes is enough, then just keep going with the other tasks in the weekly home blessing and maybe even do the weekly home blessing twice or you can get the kids involved. There are all different ways of doing it. The main thing is that we are not over focusing on these things. We are just getting things done. Oh, and there we are. <laughs> I'm pleased to punch that I'm just sitting down, catching my breath for a bit. And we have got about one minute left if you have finished your mopping, go ahead, uh, you know, wring out the mop, put it away, or sit down. And the other thing is you might want to um, open up the Fly Lady Plus app if you have that on your telephone or on your iPad, your iPhone, and you can check off that you have mopped. And if you are doing the weekly home blessing spread over the week, then you will probably be mopping on a Monday. Monday is mopping. There we go. And we're about to start the countdown. There we go. And I'm just taking the camera back into the kitchen. Here we are. We've still got a few seconds left. And when you're finished, I want you to really give yourselves a pat on the back. You've done so well. 10 minutes of mopping. Woo! There we go. There we are. Can you see that? We have... Let me see. I can't actually see myself. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, we must be down to about five seconds. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yay! You made it to the end. Well done. Well done. Remember, the most important thing now, because you've just mopped your floor, you can't move, is to set a timer for 10 or 15 minutes. Give yourself a good pat on the back. Get yourself a drink of water, coffee, tea, whatever you like. And just sit back and relax and enjoy the fruits of your efforts. And I should also just say to you, uh, 
we have done five things together. There are two tasks missing, uh, two blessings from the weekly home blessing hour, and that is changing sheets and papers, papers, catalogues, magazines, recycling those. Now, uh, I don't include that in my Monday weekly home blessing, you know, in the, in the five tasks that we've just done, because we change sheets every week or every second week, and I normally do that on a Sunday. It's just something I've done since, you know, I was very young. We always change sheets on a Sunday. That works well for me. If it works best for you on another day, go ahead and do that. And the other thing is uh, papers, um, catalogues, recycling of those. Uh, also on a Sunday when I'm sitting here in my favourite uh, reading chair, I've got my pamper basket beside me. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, there we go, pamper basket. Uh, and that's where I keep, um, you know, things to read and uh, catalogues. So I, I do that. that. That's a kind of cosy way for me to, you know, um, unwind sometimes on a Sunday, sometimes another day. So I, I don't need to have 10 minutes during my weekly home blessing hour to deal with that. And also, as I've told you before, um, actually, when post comes into the house, I actually go through the post standing outside uh, beside our recycling bin. So I, if something I see immediately is not something that we want to have or, you know, envelopes, it goes straight in the recycling. So anyway, I'm going to stop it there. Hope you enjoyed your weekly home blessing hour. And remember, if this order doesn't suit you, go in, pick and choose from the other, from all the videos that I've done, and you can put together your own weekly home blessing hour playlist. Okay, that's it for me. Time to put your feet up. Uh, Diane in Denmark, live long and prosper, signing off.